Hi, greetings from Jibrus Technologies. This video is to demonstrate how you can use Form Director to generate Google Docs and PDFs on submission of Google Form. Let us look at uh, Form Director. Launch Form Director. Click on Start Setup. You can see a list of apps that has been available. Let's uh, pick up Google Doc. So when you see Google Doc as an application, you see there are two services that is available. One is Publish Document and Append Document. Both are similar activities except that the Append Document generates a single document and appends every form submission into the same document. The Publish Document generates different documents. So let's pick a Publish Document. Okay, so in this use case, I have a form which is called General Agreement Form. On submission of this form, I want to generate a general agreement by merging the information that is gathered in this form into the template that I have created here and generate a final document output. So if you see this template, I have mentioned dynamic fields inside this structure like dollar, curly brace and the field name and ending the curly brace. So this is the area that gets replaced with form data when we are actually submitting the form. So let's go ahead and then try to configure this. So in form director, let's pick up a template. When I pick up this as a template, it shows there are 26 fields that is there in this document. That means there are 26 dynamic fields in this format is mentioned throughout this document. The next step is to say that when the document is generated, where do we place those generated documents? We can create a folder or we can choose an existing folder. Let's go ahead and create a folder. The folder is now created. You can navigate the folder. Currently it is empty. So the next thing that we can say is, how do we want to name the generated file? Let's say I want to use uh, the naming convention something like general agreement first party and second party. So this is the naming convention of the file that I want to keep. The next step is to do mapping. This mapping does the mapping between the form fields and the document fields. There is something called intelligent mapping. If the names are matching, it will automatically identify and do the mapping. There are 14 fields it says it is matching. So let's go ahead and say yes. So by default, it has matched 14 fields, saying that the app field, that is the document field, is matching to the form field directly. So the next thing that we will see is if there is any other field that has not been mapped. The fields which are grayed out are already mapped. So few fields are still not mapped. Let's go ahead and map them. Agreement purpose. The agreement purpose is mentioned in the form as purpose of the agreement. So let's map that. Next is services. What services that we are making this contract for? What services are provided? Yes.
Yes, we have mapped all the fields. Let's save and close. So we have completed the mapping. Next, we can configure what email that we want to send when a successful form, uh, form completion. Email template. The default email template comes here. We can change it to whatever the email that we want. For example, I want to change this to the first party email, comma, the second party email. I'll CC that to my own email. So I can use this form fields wherever I want to, uh, to use in, in the subject or in CC or true or wherever I want to use, I can use this. Okay, now I have configured this. I don't want to attach any drive files. I want to attach the PDF that has been generated. Let's save this service. So now the form is ready to publish a document on submission of uh, the response. Let's go ahead and try that. Let me put my email ID here. For testing purpose, I'll give my other email ID. Services consulting and the client, and then okay, let's put some date. Let's say six months. Okay, six months. Notice period for termination comes one month. Date for the last sixty. Invoice is weekly. Invoice payable within five days. Yeah, let's go ahead and submit this. So when it is submitted, it has generated a file of document as well as PDF. Let's look at the PDF. So this says very clearly replacing all this dynamic field from the form uh, fields as per our mapping and provides all this information. So it is getting generated.
let us look at the email that has been generated now so if you look at the subject it's a general uh, agreement first party and second party and it has sent the email to the first party email the second party email that i have mentioned and cc to my own email as i have mentioned in the email template and use it uses the email template content like this and then attaches the pdf as i have mentioned it to attach the pdf That's it. It's that simple to configure Form Director to generate a Google Doc uh, output from a form submission based on a, a templated Google document. Thank you.